I'm Sean. And I'm Alina. We spent the last six months living life on our terms. As we backpacked through Southeast Asia, we were interested to visit the lesser tourist parts of Thailand. Last week, we got a 15 hour night bus from hell. We survived the night bus. And finally arrived in the province of Kanchanaburi. Just checked into our little guest house and had a big nap. Big snooze. <laughs> so, feeling a bit more refreshed. We're very excited to check out Kanchanaburi. Uh, it, looks really nice. it looks very nice, we a kind of quiet town, not a lot of tourists, obviously there's still tourists here and there, but um, none of that kind of party, yeah, it looks heavy quiet. vibes, you know. Yeah. And we have been walking past some day drinkers, <laughs> I don't know if you've seen the vlog. I hope you guys will enjoy our videos, kind of, it's on the off beaten track of, I guess, the typical tourist route. After we survived the long night bus, which if you're interested on how it went, you can check out last week's video. But we went out to see what's happening in Kanchanaburi. Whenever we do go to a new place, the first thing we do is go on a long walk around the town and go down the little streets and see what we can find. This time we found a cute little temple. I got melon, I'm pretty sure. I think. Have you tasted it? Nope. Mm. Oh my god, this might be my favorite flavor now. Whoa. Uh huh. Man, that's so good. It's so good. This is probably my, one of my favorite flavors. Wow. Wow, that's surprising. Remnants of the old city. So cool. I love it when towns do this. Just incorporate all parts of the town. Eh? Yeah, there's no need to rebuild it. Yeah, it's yeah. Still Lovely wall. They've obviously patched it up a little bit, but for most parts. Ah, it gives it the authentic look. It does not. I like it. Yeah. Boys are jumping around. Alina is Should I take put on a life vest? Afraid to No, you don't need a life vest. Just scared of the big bad fish. The fish are more afraid of you. You're a bigger fish. Oh, I've got bites. Camera's on, come on. The audience wanna see it, Alina. Get in the water. Do you want me to push you? No. Well then go. go. You see if other people are swimming, no problem. People were swimming here earlier on. No. It's safe. It's just the waves, the ripples from the jet skis. Or it's the monster that lives under this raft. <laughs> and he's waiting, he's, he's seeing your toes and he's like, yes, <laughs> get in. Come on, you're grand. You don't wanna. Don't All right, let's go back up then. Uh, I do want it. Oh my God, I'm gonna push in in two seconds. Oh, she splashed me. I knew you were gonna splash me. <laughs> oh, it's actually so there you go, you're in. You're enjoying it. Some current though. Go and get a, a lily pad for as a hat. <laughs> That's where the snakes live. Do not mind our absolute bombs. <laughs> Um, it was 30 euro for five nights. 35. 35. Has a fan. It has an AC that's long broken. Like a few maybe decades broken. It gets the job done. It's fine. It's clean. 
which is all we need. <laughs> it is what it is. You gotta cut corners sometimes in life. Um, but we're actually going out tonight. I know. And potentially a night market, you know us. Yeah, night markets are literally the best places to find good, authentic Thai food and usually in sm smaller portions so you can get, eat loads of food, you know, at the same time. Yes. Which one is this? Would be this one? Oh, okay. Very good. <laughs> yeah, we just saw this bar at the corner of our street and they were selling 10 baht for a shop. 10 baht. 10 baht. That's like what? 25 cents. So we got two shots and then two drinks with like a mixer and that was 40 baht for all four drinks. Which is like just about a euro. Yeah. Like, thank God we haven't been going out. We've been saving it up for this moment. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a good vibe on that street yeah, for sure. For sure no. Can Great. Very. Can it is popping. But just the right amount, you know? Yeah, yeah, not too mad, yeah, not too yeah. mad. So yeah, we're on the way to the night market now. As soon as we started walking up to this market, we could see just how massive this market really was. First of all, it was bustling and it didn't just have food. It had clothes, a few random toys, and if you wanted to get a new phone, this is your place to find it. There's actually too much choice. Why is it blue? That chicken's gonna get it, I think. It just keeps going. It didn't just have your normal street food stalls. It had proper dinner dishes from left to right and any kind of fried chicken that your heart desires. The food here was so, so fresh, guys. I'd really recommend the mango sticky rice. It's a go-to at any market we go to, and it was unbelievable here. Ooh, I love some skewers. This is definitely the biggest food market we've been to, for sure. Loads of different stuff as well. Not just the classic food that you see at food yeah, markets. Yeah, yeah. Like, okay, so we got this mm, that's nice, that's nice. noodle with wontons and some. Uh, these are usually fish balls. Uh, fish balls. Fish balls. <laughs> Sean's gonna put some yeah, sauce. Yeah, we got like it's like a soy sauce. It smells nice and sweet. I think that's gonna go. Ooh, it's like kind of red. Mm, it's interesting. Really nice. Really subtle. Um, yeah, I don't know what sauce that was. Well, I don't think it was soy sauce. It's not very salty. But it's kind of, it's like subtly sweet, I would say. It's yeah. almost like they're kind of barbecue sauce. Mmm. Because their barbecue sauce is a bit sweeter on the sweeter side. Yeah, yeah. But so the that. noodles are really good. Stop. So next up, we've got, it looks like a really peppery, chili chicken, I think. And Alina's got beautiful spring rolls. What, what ones did we go for? Tofu and mushroom, yeah. Mm. Looks good. I'm actually, that looks really good. No, you're not gonna like it. No? <laughs> no, it's really nice. For a second there, I thought you were actually serious. Man, it's so nice. Right, I don't know how to battle these um, <laughs> spring rolls, because they didn't really give me chops. <laughs> Poured soy sauce on me. Elena is a fiend for staining her trousers. Oh, we've got, we've got some viewers. <laughs> mm. Okay. Mm. Man, they're really squishy. Squishy and gummy kind of Soft. texture. Yeah, that's how we go. Yeah, nothing like other like because usually it's oh rice God. paper and uh, just wet it down. It's like really thin layer. Uh, it's hard to dip these actually. Yeah, yeah, they're very um flexible. Maybe you do use a spoon. 
This absolute jug of coke. <laughs> Sean's favorite purchase of the food market. Ridiculous. Sean is on a mad one today. Are you gonna get an arm patai or patui? Uh, yeah, I'm on the patui. Oh, that looks amazing. Yeah, yeah. peanuts, yeah. Sugar? Uh, no sugar. Spicy. Uh, a little bit spicy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is it good? It doesn't get better. That's unstoppable. The price is too good. Um, we got a bit. Look at this though. Have a look. It's coconut pad thai. Pad thai. What? Pad thai. This is just madness. Yeah. I'll just give it a go. It's weird. Different. It's coconutty. Right. It is pad thai like. I'm so confused. <laughs> we got a load of sushi. Probably too much. Mm -hmm. This chicken skewer is so nice, so juicy. Size of my head. It's giant Like this Coke was 20? No, 25. 25. Pad Thai was 15. 15, Su that's Sushi so good. was 25. Mango cigarette rice, 25. And the skewers were 10 each. 10 each. Yeah, things seem to be wrapping up here. What time is it, Lena? Quarter past nine. Quarter past nine, I think nine o'clock. Things start wrapping up here in Kanchanaburi. So make sure you get here. Maybe for 8 p.m. or something. Yeah, you know? eight, 8 would be good. We've got mm. so much trash. That's one thing I don't like about these markets. The amount of single-use plastic is just yeah. through the roof. It's definitely the biggest issue we discovered in Southeast Asia. Yeah. Where, like, even just shops, like, you'd get a drink and they give you a plastic bag to carry your drink. And I'm like, and it's just like a coffee in a cup. And I'm like, I, I have hands, you know, I can hold. Literally. We always have a canvas bag on us, so we try to limit as much plastic as we yeah, can. Yeah, you really have to scream at the, <laughs> uh, the checkout clerk. They're typically reaching for a plastic bag before even looking. It's just you've got an your automatic bag. response for them. And we're like, no, no, we have a bag, we have a bag. And they're yeah. like, oh, okay. But anyway, let's get on to the main event. Here we go. And this is the money shot, Lena. Don't, don't miss this. Uh -huh. Give you a couple different rices as well. We got like mm. a, a green, a yellow, and a white rice. Patiently waiting. No, you're not gonna like it. Oh, here we go. It's really good. Oh, it's really good. Wow. Mango seed rice is the best dessert ever created. The, the, the Thai win. They win. What's better? That's some fresh mango. Yeah, it's really good. Oh, the mango's great. Nice and juicy. Sticky rice, fantastic. Sometimes it's, it's like too mushy. This was great consistency. Here's the money shot. Look at that. Well, that pretty much wraps up today. We're gonna be back tomorrow. So see you, oh, right now. We are back in action. We're at Bond's Thai Isan, the highest rated restaurant in all of yeah, We ordered a Pad Thai and a green We'll check in with the food here. We got a bit of a feast. It smells nice. Yeah, it smells really good. And we got something a bit different as well, which I'm very excited to try. I'm kind of mm. skeptical. The first course, I guess. Drinks. Fine, Sean got a pineapple. That's really nice. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Really good? Fresh? Oh, really fresh. Out of 10. Out of 10? Nine. Ooh! It's Ooh! Really good. It's really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I got something different. What is it, Lena? It's a mint shake. Mm. And I thought, because my stomach's still a bit upset from many regrets of the nights before. All right, so we're out here on it in uh, Kanchanaburi. Sorry, we've had like what six shots each, and um, we're 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 drinking. I'm drinking strawberry fruit wine. Here's Elena. She's gargoyle. See if this is any nice. It's kind of like matcha or wheatgrass shake. It kind of reminds me of that. Oh. Is it good? Is it intense? It's like juice, but 
but also mint tea, like fresh milk mint tea, but cold. Mm. It's it's intense. <laughs> you haven't said if it's but, good yet. <laughs> it's different. I like it. Oh, you like it? I like it. Out of I 10. Maybe a seven. Okay. It's still seven okay. out of 10. The service is so quick. So we got a portion of rice. It's actually purple rice, which is one of my favorites. Then I ordered a green curry. Looks like it comes with tofu. This is a vegan spot. And then look at the size of this pad thai. This pad thai is very good. Yeah, Sean is ready. It's really nice. It's going to Mmm, it's so big. It's really, um, really moist. It's got the chili and the peanuts already kind of bent into it, which is nice. Really saucy. Yeah, really saucy. In any Thai restaurant, you cannot go wrong with ordering a pad thai and a curry. Today we went for a masmin and a classic pad thai. This curry was indeed spicy. Good spicy, but make sure if you don't really want anything spicy, say no spice or low spice. Low, yeah, we said medium. My lips are fiery. Burning. But pretty, I've survived. We survived. Yeah, yeah. It was very really nice, actually. It classic. Was 200, uh, no, 250. 250 baht yeah. for two meals, rice, and two shakes. Pretty solid. Very good. Very good. So, yeah. Right, well, we're going to head on to this bridge now. See you there. So we found the war bridge. But the rain has caught up to us. <laughs> Finally, about time, William. We had done very well. We had great weather. Yeah, it does look like the rain's gonna pass, yeah. so we're gonna give the drone a miss because uh, I've actually been having an issue with my phone with water inside it. Yeah, it's been a bad week for electronics. And my Fitbit died. Yeah, and so. I have to get a new phone already. It's mine smashed to bits. So we might be very poor in a, in a week's time when we have to replace all these electronics. Anyway, we'll take some footage of the war bridge. Yeah. We're not gonna take some cool selfies on it like uh, other tourists. Yeah. It's so, I don't understand that. Some people that. are doing proper photo shoots and I'm like, guys. Yeah, like a lot of people die. A lot of people die building this let's bridge. Let's have a bit of respect. So we'll respectfully do some filming and catch you after. The River Kauai Bridge is a war monument in Kanchanaburi. It was part of a railway to Burma during World War II and it still stands to this day as a memory of all the people lost and the conflict that raged through Southeast Asia brought on by the Japanese Axis, who had a huge land grab in Southeast Asia, Thailand being one of them. Next week, we visit Kanchanaburi's famous mountain range and we dwell a bit deeper into Kanchanaburi's history that it has. We swim with some fishies that were a bit scary and slide down its most famous waterfalls. See you guys next week and take it easy.